I've been creating video games for over four years now, 90% of which has been created using Game Maker Studios 2. I have no issue with Game Maker, it has served me well and given me the tools to create awesome projects like Monster Tribe, which is currently on Kickstarter, so if you're watching this video between April and May 15th, 2021, make sure to go back us. Thank you. <clears throat> I love Game Maker, but my immense struggle with ADHD has me always trying to look for something new. So yeah, I gotta learn a new game engine, obviously. Yo, good guys, what's going on, man? So I'm kind of in need of just finding a new engine. So uh, yeah, I'm just looking for recommendations. Hey man, you already know my pick, Gido hands down. Oh, uh, sorry man, I have one hour to do this. Ooh. Uh, I would probably I would probably use construct then. That seems that seems smart. I could do construct. Just in case, I had to hit up my boy Vimlark to get his opinion, which well, come on dude. Obviously construct. Now that we have our chosen game engine, I'm going to break down how this is going to work. I'm giving myself one 20 minute tutorial I can follow before the timer starts to get a grasp on how Construct's interface works. Then I make a game with the allotted 60 minute time frame. I will have access to a few sprites I've created beforehand as I would like this game to look somewhat appealing even if the execution of the code is pretty bad. And that's it. Those are all the rules. So let's get started. All right, so as I just said, I will be using assets that I've already created. I just don't want this project to look awful. So here we got like a collectible of some sort, our main protagonist in a few different stages. Um, and then, yeah, we got like an enemy and some other enemy types that we can use potentially maybe. I don't know what we can use in the 60 minutes that we have, but this is what we're working with. So we'll create a game out of this. I always start my projects by creating a quick Trello board to give myself a rough estimate of the project's scope. And honestly, I like to just check things off of a list. So yeah, this is very necessary. Okay guys, Construct is ready to go. So without further ado, let's start the timer. In the first block, I wanted to start setting up the main platforming system with a character that can move left and right, jump, and have a tile set with proper collision detection, which is actually extremely easy as it's kind of a built-in feature in Construct, so nothing too crazy so far. Okay, so... I just finished the level and semi created the character. So we have 48 minutes and 50 seconds left and I've just finished creating the main character and island. I'm kind of stressed, not gonna lie, pretty stressed, but I think we can do this without getting any extra time. I just wanna create a basic platformer. So, you know, I think we can do it. Real quick, I'm gonna pause the timer. Just so you guys are aware, timer is paused. So I'm gonna now test the game just to see what we have. Um, so here we go. So we actually <laughs> kind of have a game. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> this is really, really bootleg. But technically we have like kind of a game in 15 minutes. And it literally all I've done is follow like a super, super, uh, basic like platforming um, kind of like setup system and then yeah just just to basically get uh, comfortable with like the UI of how this works um, but I'm just looking into things and trying to do it myself so uh, cool this is what we have so far guys <laughs> are you proud of me <laughs> It's time to start coding in the health bar and getting the character fully animated with all of his different movement options and adding in some bullet projectiles we can use to attack. Unfortunately, this didn't go as planned. All right, let's test again. I'm gonna stop the timer just so we can actually see if this is working. So let's test it. We can roll, we can shoot, which breaks the game. Okay, cool. So shooting breaks the game. 
cool, 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 cool. Oh my god. That's embarrassing. Did we run out of... We ran out of, of features. Guys, we literally ran out of features. That sucks. What? I have so much more to do. <laughs> okay, so... Let me pause the timer for a sec. We just ran out of features. We literally can't do anything more with the free version of Construct. So, you know, I was trying to set up a shoot animation and I can't do that. So instead, we're gonna get rid of all of the shoot function variable stuff. And I'm just gonna try to finish this game with some collectibles and enemies that you have to avoid because I literally can't make the game any more advanced than that. So hopefully we can still make this work. A little bit of a, you know, roadblock in our plans here, but uh, I mean, hey, I I'm not gonna pay for Construct just for this video, so. <laughs> Let's just fast forward these 60 seconds. Okay, so I'm pausing the timer again. I just want you guys to be aware that I can do this, you know, so I just <laughs> wanted to see if this would actually work. And technically it does work. For some reason, the, the screen like changes, but I'm just glad that I got this to actually work. I took out the all of the uh, bullet function stuff because I had to finish the animation. But guys, technically I did make attacking work. Also, you can double jump now. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Um, but yeah, so attacking technically works, but for some reason it like moves the screen up and down for no reason. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna cut, we're gonna cut this stuff out and uh, I'm gonna make the game where all you can do is just like avoid enemies, collect uh, collectibles, and and then, and then that's time, that's time. So let's get back to that. Uh, timer is gonna resume now and we're gonna start. There's 24 minutes left, we got this. The last objective is to add in some enemies, collectible items with different score values, and add in a super crappy score UI because I couldn't figure out how to make a custom font in the last few minutes of the project. I deeply apologize for what you're about to see on the HUD. Okay, I'm stopping the timer right there. We have three minutes and 57 seconds left just in case there's any weird glitches or bugs or anything like that. But we're gonna test the game and see if it runs. Um, so hopefully that <laughs> works. So let's let's try this out, I guess. Um, so we have our player and he's got his little roll. He can roll, um, he can jump. He can't shoot anymore because we ran out of uh, available functions in the player object. And then, so we should be able to pick this up. Boom, we can pick that up and it actually does uh, change our, our little HUD there. So, whoa, 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 why are these guys so fast? Chill, 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 chill. And we can die. So that actually works. So we just have to make these guys like a little bit slower. <laughs> oh God. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Do they actually like work though? They don't change their uh, direction, but that's okay. Yeah, this is like really, <laughs> really bootleg, but I mean, technically it works. So I'm gonna fix these few little issues now, and then I'm gonna try to run through the game. This is our game. Timer is done. Game is completed and finished. Let me take that off. Stop, stop being annoying. Um, so yeah, timer's done. Game dev challenge is complete. So now I'm gonna just play through this and see what I can do. Um, and then hopefully I can beat this. So let's try, try to beat it. I think the score is 20 if you complete it all together. Oh, these guys are moving so slow. <laughs> wow, nice. These guys are moving so slow. Ah, ah, wait, double jump. Okay, for some reason on, oh God. That's not fair. This is actually kind of difficult. I won't lie to you. Um, 
Sucks that we couldn't get the shooting in, but at the same time, like, this is pretty decent. Let's go in for the stealth kill. There we go. Oh god. <sighs> okay, yeah, I think the score ends at... Oh no, well no, but these are all of them, I swear. Guys, I'm gonna die! Oh, I did it. I did it. I completed the level. Oh my god. I completed the level. Not bad. Not too bad. Um, kind of challenging-ish. Not really, but kind of. That was kind of a fun game. I'm not gonna lie. Like, that was actually kind of fun. Overall, the challenge was definitely a success. I managed to create a game never having touched the engine beforehand after just scrolling through documentation and small tutorial videos for 10 to 20 minutes. The real question is, was this at all useful? I mean, I'd say so. My experience so far is that Construct is a really cool engine that can make games quickly at a very low barrier to entry. I could see myself coming back to Construct to make random game jam games when I don't have the time to heavily program something together, or just for fun prototypes and challenge videos in the future. There you have it guys, it's been at least a few months since I've done a challenge on this channel, and I had a ton of fun putting this together for you guys. If you want more content like this in the future, just please make sure to subscribe to the channel and drop a like on the video. It helps out a lot, and before you go, make sure to comment down in the comment section on your thoughts of this challenge, and if we can get over 1,000 likes on this video, it'll show me that you guys really like this style of content, and I will push myself to make games with incredible restrictions and challenges. So if that's something you want to see, all you got to do is like the video.